Hello everybody, I am the author and illustrator of the book Gerald 2.0. This is a story about a brother and a sister who build an autonomous robot and learn some valuable lessons. I'd like to read it to you now. Let's get started. Gerald 2.0 by Lucas Machado There was once a dragon named Gerald who was perpetually annoyed by his little sister. She interrupted his computer time, she pulled out the batteries of his favorite toys, she never left him alone. One day, Gerald decided to build a robot version of himself. He hoped his sister would play with the robot and leave him alone. He went into his garage and began working. He used materials from around the house, an old trash can became the body, an old video game system was repurposed for the brain. His sister handed him the tools he needed. Gerald designed the robot after himself. He programmed its code with his own likes and dislikes. The robot would be just like him. He used old stereo speakers for the voice of the robot. After a few days of tinkering, it sounded just like him. The dragon named his robot clone, Gerald 2.0. Gerald 2.0 did not work out as planned. All the robot wanted to do was play video games and eat snacks. Now Gerald was annoyed with both his sister and his robot. What's up, bro? Ah. Gerald 2.0 was a terrible house guest. It made messes and never cleaned up after itself. Gerald tried reprogramming his creation to make it like the things that his sister liked to do. He called this version Gerald 3.0. But his sister was still more interested in what he was doing. More tea, Rebecca? Gerald was almost out of ideas. Then he wondered if his robot would be more helpful if it was connected to the internet. So Gerald hooked his robot up to the Wi-Fi. He renamed it Gerald 4.0. Once Gerald 4.0 was online, it just laid around all day surfing the internet. OMG. This is no good, thought Gerald. He was officially out of ideas. Then Gerald's sister gave him a great idea. He should go to the library. The library had books on everything. Gerald gathered up his sister and walked to the library down the street for some advice. His sister packed them both a snack. Gerald asked the librarian for books on robotics and coding. The librarian asked what sort of project was he making. Gerald told her. After thinking for a minute, the librarian said, you created an autonomous robot with the mind of an eight-year-old? You should get back to your house immediately! After rushing home, they discovered Gerald 4.0 had learned all of the world's online information from the internet. He had gotten so smart that he reprogrammed himself 10,000 times. He even renamed himself GX 10,000. GX 10,000 said it would be best for everyone if it conquered and ruled the world. The robot began outlining plans for taking over the world when its power suddenly went out. Gerald's sister had pulled out GX 10,000's battery pack. And just like that, the power-hungry robot scheme of world domination was over, before it started. 
Gerald breathed a sigh of relief. A week later, Gerald had reprogrammed GX10,000 into a remote-controlled car. He and his sister set up some ramps in the front yard. Let's see if it can jump this one, said Gerald. The boy looked at his sister and said, You know, you probably saved the world, right? She looked back up at him and replied, World? It's your turn, said Gerald as he handed her the remote control. They played together for quite some time. Eventually, Gerald said, What do you want to build next? Wow, I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. This was Gerald 2.0 by me, Lucas Machado. You might also enjoy Gerald's second adventure, Gerald Escapes to Mars. Both of these are available on Amazon. Have a great day, everybody.